to explain days and seasons. I hope you're not a troll, but I'll still take a shot anyway. So this inner circle right here that I've colored in is the Tropic of Cancer. This green right here is the equator. And the outside blue circle is the Tropic of Capricorn. So the sun migrates between the tropics throughout the year, giving you your seasons. The sun is not 93 million miles away. That's a different video. And you can actually prove that the sun is not 93 million miles away, but that's a different video. So you're talking about days and seasons. So wherever the sun is, this right here is North America, here's the United States. So wherever the sun is, that is, or when the sun is above your head, that is solar noon. So what happens is the sun, in, in the northern summer, the sun is over the Tropic of Cancer. Then it migrates out for three months, goes to the equator. Then three months later, it goes to the Tropic of Capricorn, which gives Australia their summer and the northern their winter. Then three months back in the equator, and then the whole cycle starts over again. So you can also see it here on this map. You've got the summer solstice. So this right here is a map of the sunlight during the summer, the summer solstice. And over here is the winter solstice, the map of the sunlight. You can see it's a little bit different on the winter solstice than it is the summer solstice. And let me turn these lights out for a second. Hold on one second. This on quick. Alright. So like I said, this isn't perfect, but as you see, when I take this sun around, you can see this flashlight that's mimicking the sun. You can see that it lights up that one area of the earth. So the sun migrates between the tropics, creating the seasons. The sun marks the days, a 24-hour day, a solar day. So, pretty cool. Amazing, amazing stuff.